My name is Troy Hansel. I'm the Deputy Director of the Wildlife Conservation Society based in Laos, PDR. What's the ecological significance of Namit Pului for this region and country? Namit Pului National Protected Area is the second largest national protected area in Laos and it harbors the largest population of tigers in Indochina and is a very significant site in the region for biodiversity. Um, great. What, um, what is the population of tigers at Namit Pului? Well, the estimates over the last three years is somewhere between 9 and 24 tigers. Mm. And what are you trying to accomplish with the campaign here? Well, this campaign we're focusing on increasing the prey for tigers. We believe that if we're going to increase the tiger population, one of the limiting factors is that the prey density is too low to increase the tiger population. Another um, objective of the campaign is to, to, to get community participation in, in, in making the enforcement of the rules and regulations of the protected area stronger and more effective. What is your objective by the end of this campaign and, and what are your thoughts for what will happen you know, in the years to come? Well, I think for us, th this campaign, we, we want to focus our conservation education and outreach efforts in a way that we can measure and measure the impacts in reducing the threats within the campaign site. Um, so what does success look like for you by the end of this campaign? And w what are your um, aspirations for the years to come? Well, success for us in this campaign is uh, being able to measure the impact of conservation education and outreach uh, in reducing the threats to tiger and their prey and biodiversity more, more widely. Um, in terms of the campaign, we're hopeful to move along the theory of change from attitudes and knowledge and just increasing people's knowledge and attitudes to actually moving up to interpersonal communication and moving closer to, to actually changing people's behaviors in the campaign site. And uh, we don't view this campaign as actually just a 24-month campaign, but rather one campaign site in, a, in five different location, geographic locations. So our hope is to have, um, this is just one geographic location out of five, and we'll help continue this work over a five-year period. Hmm. And what, what, what are your hopes for the tigers and tiger prey in this site? Um, do you have a specific objective? Yeah, with, with this campaign and in this site, we're, we're hope, our hope is that by reducing the threats to the prey, we will be able to increase pay, prey populations from where they were monitored two years ago. And in 2012 and 2015, we hope to con uh, conduct an occupancy survey that will then measure the prey for the tigers. And we should be able to see if the campaign and the enforcement efforts and other activities within the protected area have increased the populations of the prey while also measuring the or estimating the population of the tigers. So um, if you were to summarize your objectives in real, really briefly, what, what, are you, what does success look like for you? Uh, through this pride campaign, we're trying to reduce the threats to tigers' prey and increase prey, uh, tiger numbers. Um, this site is trying to increase tiger by 50% by 2015 and reduce the illegal hunting pressure on prey by approximately the same percentage.